Today is one of the internet's birthdays, and I don't mean internet birthday like you log into Facebook and then you see, oh, hey, your friend has a birthday today, and then you post on their wall like there are hundreds of other friends. Come on, make it meaningful. Send them a text so they don't know that you were reminded by Facebook that it was their birthday. Have some class. More specifically, today, March 12th, is the 25th birthday of the World Wide Web. On March 12th, 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee put forth a proposal. He proposed to make information sharing possible over computers. Berners-Lee wanted to use nodes and links to create a web that stretched all around the entire world. In April of 1993, the CERN Institute declared that web technology would be freely accessible and usable to anyone. But I thought Al Gore created the internet. Get out. Right now. The thing that people have to remember is that the internet has been around a lot longer than the World Wide Web. What? Wait. They're different? Impress your next blind date with these helpful important facts. The internet is a network of networks. It's the infrastructure that connects networks across the world. When you send an email, when you use an app on your phone, when you transfer a large file to another computer, you're using the internet, but you're not necessarily using the web. The web is an avenue for transmitting data over the internet by entering a uniform resource locator, a URL. If you typed youtube.com to eventually get to this video, congratulations! You just surfed the web. Now let's go way back to the birth of the internet. On September 2nd, 1969, a scientific team in UCLA was able to transmit a message to Stanford all the way across the country. This was the first successful attempt of getting computers to communicate with each other over a network. The internet's first breath of life. The message that was intended to be sent was the word login, but the system sort of crashed halfway through, so only the letters L and O made it to Stanford the first time. Uh, they tried again a second time and it worked. It was a moderately rocky breath of life. Let's examine some of the other birthdays of the internet. In 1971, Ray Tomlinson sent the very first network email, deciding to put an at sign in between the user's name and the host computer's name because it seemed like a neat idea, he said. Neat. In 1979, CompuServe offered the first online services. Users could go on and pay hourly for news, financial information, just various informational things like that. This was a big step to bring consumers and the everyman to the internet instead of just academics and government officials. In 1980, CB Simulator, the first online chat, goes online. It gave people a much longer reason to stay online. In 1988, Robert Morris unleashed a worm upon the internet. He said it was just an experiment gone awry, but it was the very first documented case of a widely spread virus, which ended up causing thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. And like I said, in March of 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee put forth his proposal for the World Wide Web. He released his code to the world for free in 1990, which was unprecedented, and it became a worldwide adapted technology. He was actually knighted for his work. And now, 25 years to the day after he made Made his web proposal, Sir Berners-Lee is calling for the internet he created to stay open and free. He said, I also hope this anniversary will spark a global conversation about our need to defend principles that have made the web successful. If you would like more information about the World Wide Web, I'll include a link down below to the very first website created in 1990 and it's still operational. So wish the World Wide Web a very happy birthday and raise your 0010110111011s. Here's to a free and open future. I think I added too many zeros. Ooh. When Berners-Lee was asked what he would have done differently if given the opportunity, he said they didn't need the double slash after the colon. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. That's funny to me. <laughs>